All right, folks, and you're on another episode of Exploring Shasta County History. I'm your host, Jeremy M. Tuggle. Uh, today, we're out at a very historic site within Shasta County. Oh, wait, let the traffic pass. This is the historic site of Redding's Bar. And the monument states, Redding's Bar, Major Pearson Barton Redding, California explorer and participant in the Bear Flag Revolt, discovered gold on this bar in 1848. Soon afterwards, he made a similar find on the Trinity River, which you will see later on in this video. News of these discoveries opened the entire northern region of California to the gold rush of 49. By 1851, the town of Clear Creek Diggings had been settled near the bar, later renamed Horsetown. It was the commercial center for this mining area. Horsetown was destroyed by fire in 1868. California Registered Historical Landmark Number 32 First registered August 1st, 1932 Plaque placed by the State Department of Parks and Recreation in cooperation with my work, the Shasta Historical Society, Daryl Moss Historical Fund, and the Trinitarianist Chapter Number 62, E. Clampus Vitus, May 16th, 1998 Coming up here, trying to film the plaque site itself the monument and as you will see later in this video this is pretty similar to the one at Reddings Creek in Trinity County the base is a little bit different So as the title says, this is two of two Redding's Bar in Northern California. We are at a secluded campground at Douglas City. And this is in Trinity County. The first Redding's Bar was located in Shasta County on Clear Creek. This is at Redding's Creek. Redding's Bar and Redding Creek is named after Major Pearson B. Redding. The plaque here states, Major Pearson B. Redding discovered gold on this bar behind this monument in July 1848. After crossing the Trinity Divide from the North Fork of Cottonwood Creek, his party of three whites, close friend Delaware Indian Scout Tom Hill, and 63 Valley Wintu Indians is said to have taken out $80,000 in six weeks before abandoning the claim to a band of Oregonians who objected his use of Indian labor. This is what the plaque monument looks like up close. Almost similar to the 
earlier one you saw in the video, the Clear Creek one. And I do know descendants of Major Pierce be ready, and I'd like to give a close personal shout out to my friend David Templeman, who is a great great grandson of Major Pierce be ready. So shout out to David. David and his family does not live here locally. They're out of state, but I still remain in contact with. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, folks.